uh, meeting this encounter on on Saturday. Remember? Yeah. And then Funda and me. It was the very first time that we met. It was so oh, you know oh, finally, and we have the same vibration. It's so cool. And then and then we went with my dog with Amber to the Rhine River just for a walk, and then. Mm, we saw four ships, small ones, in the shape of clouds, and then a huge mothership, you know, and there was a bright light coming like a circle, and the sky was purple, it was not, I was with the sunset, and the sky was purple because I know when something is happening, because I can see it from the sky, you know. And there were so many people. There was a boat because there are boats on the river, and there was some party. And there were screaming, you know, people were completely drunk. And then we thought, okay, now they got caught up now because they take the etheric body of them and just work on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it was above. No, really, it was above the city. Yeah. Wow. It was so cool. Sometimes, and that and that was now the, the video your son exposed. That was Saturday, right? That was like Friday or Saturday. That was Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh no, it was Saturday evening here. Saturday evening is your time in the morning, Saturday morning. Well, that's the day and, that and Go ahead. And then when we came home, I mean, we both felt like a uh, very strong dizziness uh. when we came home during, during the walk. And so, yeah, we were like, both of us, both of us. <laughs> and then we came home and I think we had some food, but we also had to rest and then there was a big, big, big exchange of everything. And it's like one-to-one, -one, you know, you don't have to explain anything because it's like she can, she can perceive everything. One, 1,000%. Wow. It's amazing. It's amazing. That's so, so exciting. She was... and, then, uh, she... and then she left on Sunday night. <laughs> and then again, we went, we went out in the morning and, ah, I had here uh, on Saturday, I was going to buy some groceries now, and I have this beautiful um, breast, not, yeah, breastless, breastless. And at a certain point, it just flew came off. off, you see? Yes, I had that happen to me a few times too with my, um, yeah. I have a Moldavite that I wear all the time. And during. Yeah. But this, this is made out of wood. Right, but it was the string, is what I'm saying. When I, all these transits that just yeah. happened, whenever I came off that wave, I was charting that picture that I sent you that's on my whiteboard. It was basically charting the time travel and the waves. All these these new I started putting the new moons on the axis points, and the new moons were the feminine. And the circles, I put it over it, and it created like this time space continuum that I was charting. And it, and anyway, it led me back to May 5th. And May 5th is when, you know, we, from in my reality, that's when the OA was completed for the first time in, in the AB negative, right? That's when all this stuff, that was the Waysack full moon. That was when everything kicked off in my reality. So it's interesting because that you say that that string broke because that's a sink. Because whenever I was, when I was, that's around May 5th is whenever I was having that experience of birthing a new earth and all that. It's the first time I had gone up in that dimension and met all those people, blah, blah, blah. But while that was all happening, I was wearing this necklace with a bunch of, um, with Moldavite on it. And then it has a bunch of little power beads on it. I call them power beads. I call them black diamonds, but they're not. Anyway, strong, strong, strong energy. Well, it kept literally coming untied off my neck. 
at certain points during that the birthing of the earth and everything, it was like when balance wasn't there, it would fall. And it was always like right when there was, because I was kind of coaching the two people that were with me at the same time, you know, because they were in a different dimension. So when they, when they started like in a, in mirroring each other and like it started getting staticky, my necklace would just bloop and fall. <laughs> right. So that, that happens on May the 5th of 2018, 2018. May 3rd, well, it was April 27th is when the energy tilted, which is what springboarded me into those higher dimensions from the, you know, grounded from the earth. And then on May yeah. 3rd is whenever we birthed a new earth. And then May 3rd at 3.11 a.m. is whenever we finished the code. I woke up in the middle of this when I was working with that physicist that popped up across the street with five PhDs in multidimensionality entrepreneurship. He's written papers on it. He's written books on it. And then I fall out of the sky, basically, and I'm it. So I was talking through all these multidimensional things in my consciousness, and he had the Akash the galactic Akash, where he was going and we were proving his papers. He was finalizing some missing pieces to everything. And on top of that, he had the Akash from the Bible. So as all that was happening, he was going, oh my gosh. And he was going and pulling up scriptures. And we were literally reliving Bible verses in the physical he lived the path of the Buddha in this life. Whereas I lived wow. the path of the Christ. It was crazy. I mean, he would, like, he ended up in the desert. and I mean, like, totally. Like, his life was, you know, because we're stuck in those timelines. So, I mean, that's the one he kept living, and that's the one he lived in this lifetime. And then, yeah, so, anyway. <laughs> but then what happened... Because yeah. then... And then what happened? And then on Sunday, I mean, it was like Funda, she was sleeping here in the living room. And then a lot of my friends here, because my flat is full of beings here, really. And so when they came... My gosh, Funda, I want to come here. see you. Everybody here. <laughs> and I think they were working on her too. You oh, know? yeah. And... Um, yeah, in the afternoon, we take out my dog, and uh, Amber, she, she's wearing a collar, a collar, and then I have another collar on her, on her neck, just to, which is a little bit more tight, you know, but she has a beautiful collar, which I, I bought in Australia from Aborigines, no? you know, Ooh. design, and Amber, Vieni qui, amore. And while we were walking, Amber, suddenly the collar opened up. It fell off, off too. Her neck, off, her, off her neck, which is, which is practically not possible because, you know, yeah. is, that's why I want to show you the collar. You know, it, I it, under it goes in and then it makes crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And she like was even, not even, you know, with her feet. That's what I'm saying. Like that string, I was literally tying it in a double knot, a tight double knot behind my neck. Yes. Tight, 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 and then it would just whoop. I mean, I wouldn't even know. It would just fall straight off. It was it was it was impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, the so, dog collar well, the came undone. The dog so, collar you know, came undone. The dog collar came undone. Oh my god. Yes, and also Funda, she got a vision that a lot of people are having such a kind of invisible color, you know, electro, something, invisible colors, and they open up now. So they were setting free. Something is going to set free. Now. Well, well then tell and me, especially, because... And especially the, here around the neck. Well, and that's where, rem, now... Because I knew I, I had, when I got sick recently, and I did end up getting an infection, but it was it didn't start out being sick. It was just, it, it was like overnight, 
and it was, and I know this is gross, but we all, we have to, I, I, I'm taping this, by the way, I've been taping it since you started talking about stuff in case we want to use it, but there's huge, I was getting just overnight, it wasn't even like phlegm, it was like literally the lining of my esophagus, like chunks of it, so it freaked me out because it was, it, it was like you had pneumonia and the, and the mucus had gotten so thick, you know, that it started, but it happened immediately. Like I just woke up one morning with it. And then because it was so severe, I knew that I was clearing, clearing it. But if this is happening to you, make sure you're drinking lots of water to get it out and keep spitting that stuff out. Because what happened to me is that my pH got unbalanced because it, started reacting and then I got a little infection and it took me a little longer. But after that happened, mm -hmm. I can feel in my ears when I speak, it's totally different. It's 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 an it's a different it's a different resonance throughout my whole body. Like this tone that I'm in right now, I did not have before at all. At all. So yes. That makes sense because it's it's that throat chakra speaking our truth, you know, and that's what so many people are having sore throats right now and waking up with these huge holes in their throats. And when I coach them, I'm telling them, it's baby, it's because you're not speaking your truth. You're, you're swallowing all that energy. You can't keep swallowing that energy. Yes. Um, and even me yesterday, last night, yesterday I had, was a rough day and because when Funda tell, told me, you know, what you were experiencing, I, I was like, oh my gosh, okay, so you, she's experiencing all of this in the etheric, and I want you, I want you to, if you want to share with us what you've been doing, but then for me, the past few days, what I've been doing since I, since, since, since when you're connected with the earth and the galactic and that medium point, then you're doing it all in the physical so it was like I the past two days I've been running around, feel like I couldn't stop until yes till last night when I finally realized it was my ego that had kicked in at some point. Like my soul was was telling me hurry up, keep going, keep going, keep going, and then I I I got to a point where I was completely exhausted, and but I felt like I had to keep going, and then I had to just you know people have been coaching me because I got. Because I got so into the 3D because I was moving so much. And every everything that I was doing, I was doing it backwards. Even walking into the grocery store. You know, even even parking at the grocery store, walking in, the, the, the thing, I needed to go to the opposite side. And when I come out, my car is on the opposite side. If I'm supposed to, you know, I was, I was doing U-turns all over the city. All over the city, like I, I was literally going and you turn, you know, because our inner, you know, that you know this, but I'm just talking about it because people are listening. But that we're creating those energy patterns on the earth, and so all of us are moving in these yes. crazy, weird directions because of this new oscillation. But it, but yesterday with all that Antares, so Antares um, and Aldebaran opened up a portal yesterday in the astrology. So then we had Yeah, this. well, I, I came like then to lie down on, on Monday, on Monday morning. So Funda, she left my home in the night um, from Sunday to Monday, and I was really, really exhausted, and it was like I was pulled away because I really become very etheric, and Funda, she could sense it. Yeah. I, I really disappear, really. And and then in the morning, Monday morning, oh gosh, I woke up and I had a strong headache here on my left part of the brain. And it was like waves again, you know. It is, since I have this kind of headache since childhood, and uh, it was uh, like, yeah, it's a kind of migraine, but... I mean, what is migraine? I know that nothing helped me out, not any kind of medicine. My mom, she took me to the neurologist and they made the EG, you know, they put all the cables and what they could see that was a strong activity in my brain, right? 
and nothing nothing ever helped um, to to uh, slow it down the process never ever so and then when i realized in the process of my awakening that is connected to the brain everything because there are new synapses creating and a new kind of neural net parallel and so again now i I was lying for two days and this was like a kind of new wave that I could perceive like gamma gamma waves. We have so many brain waves, but now this was a new kind of wave which got installed in my brain and simultaneously also I could feel it here in the heart. So when I got a wave in my in my brain, it was also my heart was jumping, you know, it was a continuum. And then at a certain point, okay, I have to start. I, I got a strong nausea and I, I vomited two or three times only. And the morning I thought, okay, I will try another thing. I go to the pharmacy and I bought two homeopathic uh, remedies. None of them, none of them were working. So also this message, because our frequencies, which we get now through our brains, the firing of our brains, of the new neural net, neural net it is not uh, compatible to the old frequencies, which is homeopathy, because homeopathy is the creation of frequency. That's why it, in the old times, in the old paradigm, it was working, no? Similar with similar. But now with these new frequencies, not at all a homeopathic remedy can help you out and smooth nothing. Also this I took uh, notice <laughs> while I was lying in my in my bedroom now in my pyramid for two days. Well and in the morning it's this is the first day I'm up now and I feel like something got reset it totally. Poof like a blackout, no memory from what this was before, nothing, just, I just could stay here in the here and now, I was so tuned in the here and now, and I, I started the day very, very slowly, but very conscious, very conscious, so, Fonda, she brought me a new laptop, Yay. a new old laptop, and I was installing, yes, and I was installing in the morning a lot of things here, and um, the camera just, looks great. I, I got out of the house. The camera looks uh, great. The camera looks great. Next time, next time we'll we can video start videoing yeah, these. And also, yeah, and also I have a bigger screen now. It's much more better. And yes, and then what I'm feeling today is after the reset in my brain, I feel like uh, stumbling. I'm stumbling the whole day. I, I was going out of the balcony a couple of hours before, and you know, it seems like now I'm, I'm on a big ship, you know, with huge waves, and so I'm stumbling left and right, really. I had to catch myself in the very last moment before falling down. And then I came here in the room again, and the same. And then I went to the bed again. I was lying on the bed, I just was chatting on WhatsApp, and again, while I was lying, 360 degrees turn around Boom, poof, like that okay so definitely definitely we are getting a new configuration in our system a restart you know reset and restart and also I perceive something is going to happen on on this planet like a natural natural uh, whatever earthquake ah my eldest son, he sent me yesterday um, a video with my, um, with my grandchild. They are in Sardinia now. And there was a flooding. They were sitting in a restaurant and they opened up the, the door and all the water was outside like that. Huge, huge, huge flooding. Right? Wow. <clears throat> and in the, morning, in the morning yesterday we had 37 degrees. Fahrenheit, no, Celsius, Celsius, sorry, 37 degrees Celsius. It was the hottest day of the whole summer here. And in the morning, we got a, um, we got a thunderstorm and finally we got some rain. But now again, the sun is shining and it's very humid, very humid. But I feel that this summer is open up 
open up the brains and the hearts, you know, like all these beautiful cosmic photonic and gamma rays are now infiltrating everything that is here on Earth. Wow. And I'm very happy about that. Wow. Yes. Well, when you say gamma, that's interesting because what what has come into my awareness, you know, in the past couple of days, because you know how it's working. I mean, we're all like going, oh my God, and connecting all this stuff, especially those of us who haven't been like really, really awake for a long time. But the gamma rate, so because when I think of your prototype and mine, right? Because you you do everything in the etheric and then I've been doing it in the physical. I mean, that's been our whole lives, you know, that we've talked about the different surgeries and everything, stuff like that. So the gamma rays, do you feel like you're more grounded now? Yes. Because it's almost whenever I think of you and then you were telling me the story, the, the image that I have is like I'm while I'm walking on the planet, from my waist down, I'm like connected to the earth. From my waist up, I'm like connected to the ethers. And you're like, you're, you've all, you've been from the waist up, m- right? Mostly. And so now it's like, that's grounding you. you. You see what I'm saying? Not that I'm doing that, but it's, it's grounding you back. It's those gamma waves are grounding you back down. My point is, it, it depends on which ones you're bringing in we're all opposite we're all different we can't compare each other that's that's the human ego to do that so I think the biggest problem that I'm seeing right now when I'm doing these coaching sessions and Marie is that everyone you know because it's human to compare so everyone's comparing saying oh my gosh well I'm not I'm not getting it that way so then therefore I'm not getting it no no Absolutely, because everybody is frequency specific. Nobody here on this planet has the same frequency. You know, it's like it's like a fingerprint. So everybody is unique, and as everybody is unique, uh, you cannot have the same uh, experience to another one. Never ever. There can be similarities, but never ever it can be the same because everybody's frequency specific is unique and is making his own experience. Right. No way. Right. I mean, this is this is this is the human mind. The human mind always tends to you know to put it in a box and I have this and that and the other one. No, no one is better. No one is bigger. No one is smaller. Nothing. Everybody has his own unique uh, frequency band and and gets aligned on what frequency band he's uh, fluctuating, right? Right. And gets upgrades. Yeah. And it can happen through the brain or whatever. So many symptoms. And I mean, our whole body system now gets a reconfiguration, a recalibration. But that doesn't mean that everybody has to experience it in the same way. Absolutely no. Because we are unique and everybody has his own path to, to walk. Well, but and see we that. And, right. And, and so that, and so what the, the other thing I've been noticing is that like last night I was trying to ground. I couldn't, I couldn't ground my, my inner, like I was meaning I normally how I would ground is to push the energy out of my feet to the middle of the planet and wrap it around an actual cave that I've been in that's eight miles into the earth. Well, whenever I etherically go to do that right now, it's not there. It's it's that I that cave is gone and I feel like guy that that it's gone. It's not even there. When I when I go to energetically connect to it, it's not even there. It's like it's it's collapsed and it's right underneath my feet. It's it's like I can't push the energy down because it's coming up. And then and then you had that's that's interesting because now I'm realizing maybe because I was yesterday with the energies and everything, I was so 3D like I was talking to people and all these things that I say and know, you know, it was like it completely just was like, (laughs) you know, I completely tumbled backwards. But that would make sense with the gamma rays because we're it's like we're in the center of it. 
And then we had astrological events that happened yesterday that Sun, that Maru from Sun Soul Astrology, who, remember, was a walk-in soul. I mean, she's the one who came in with this quantum. Well, we had an aspect yesterday that had never been seen before. Like, she researched it for four or five hours, couldn't find any. It was brand new. And it's this. You see? Yes. <laughs> It's brand, so it's even, it's even, yes. you know, it's proving in astrology. And then what's even nut, nuttier is if I take, let me grab these charts. Because I'm going to, I'm going to, I wanted to do a video on this, but let me show you real quick. The, the, the way that it looked in the transit yesterday, because we have eight, eight planets retrograde. Um, eight, eight atoms, hello, blood, so they're all retrograde, they're retrograde planets, meaning that we're, we're going back, and check out what it looks like, ovaries, you see it? Whoa. So this is Uranus in Taurus, so that's Earth. So when Uranus went into Taurus, that's whenever we originally had the first fluctuation. Well, now, yesterday, Uranus went into reverse. It went into retro. So when this happened, that means that, that now we're connected to the Earth. All of our eight atoms were all, all retrograde. We locked into the Earth yesterday. And it just straight up looks like ovaries. Now, this is all happening at zero degrees and 44 minutes of Libra yesterday. So that means all the Libra energy, it was at zero point. Now look, what does this look like? Take a look at this and take a look at this. Yeah, if you, look. If you, if, you, if you turn it around, I mean, I, if you turn it around, like this, it looks for me like a callus, like a holy grail. It came in for, for me in the in the very first uh, insight, you know. The holy grail, okay. Like that. It looks like, yeah, it looks like the holy, holy grail, yeah. And otherwise, I oh my gosh, it's also a cylinder. It's also a cylinder. Oh my gosh, it's a time continuum funnel. See what I'm saying? There's the base. Yeah. It's a time continuum funnel. There's the base. If you picture this as, as a 3D sphere. Yes. Well, and this is the, so this is my chart. Remember how I keep talking about? My chart's the key. It's like hooking, and I've been doing research on this for the past four days linked to the 2020 events, and it's all there, including when there's one day in 2020 when when my this chart is linked up now to the collective basically this energy frequency is what helps oh, look at that. chills yeah. so check this out so this is yeah. my chart well look all this energy in libra so whenever i overlay these because Libra was at zero point, so that means that all those energies were at a perfect blend since we're lined up, right? And and we're we're pointing yeah. that energy straight to Earth, and Venus is getting a rewrite, basically. And when I overlay lay the charts, my chart and the other chart on top of each other, look, it all lines up perfectly, even down to where this is where Orion was activated. This is where the moon was yesterday at 23 degrees. This is where my Saturn was at 20 degrees. Even that line was perfect and it all blends down to the Capricorn energy that's in my chart right there. Yeah. It's the same configuration. So we're complete, we're locked in. We're completely 100% locked in now. We are steering the stars, as Thoth would say. <laughs> we are steering... And also, we are steering the stars. We are steering the yes. stars. And to, and to 
to finalize everything, I got my menstruation in the morning. So I'm bleeding and it feels like everything is a renewal, totally. But last night yeah. it was so intense that my dragon breath wasn't helping. And then finally I was, and I was just such, I couldn't met, I was telling my body to power down, but there were so many firings going off in my brain. It wasn't even like they were thoughts. It was like electrons, just la 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 la. Uh, yes. And I finally, my, my soul had me, was like, breathe, breathe through your skin, Christy, breathe through your skin. So I finally went into my heart space and, and was like just pushing you know, trying to breathe through my skin. And when I did that, then it then it popped my energy field and I started feeling better instantly. But that's what it took. Like I couldn't, I had to com just try to open myself up instead of connect to like let it in. Because I didn't feel like I could go anywhere connection wise because it's so big now because it's like we're in it. <sighs> yeah, Funda, Funda, she got the message when, because I was communicating with her, and, and she can hear it from my voice, you know, and, oh, Funda, you know, and, and she can, and so, she's so perceptive that she gets all the information what's happening in me, and even she tried to make the, the sounds, the cosmic codes, because last time when she um, recorded the codes, because she could see what was happening in my brain. Wow. But that time, she also saw these frequencies in my brain, and she tried and she said, no, I cannot reach. It's too high. It's too high. And, and because it's such a high frequency, and then she decided, okay, we will, we will be guided now to go to a place because I'm here in a flat. I feel like I have to explode here, but then they will call the police or whatever, you know, <laughs> bring me to the, <laughs> to the psychiatric ward, you know, because I'm living now here in the city. Before in Tuscany, I was on my own and it, it, it didn't matter how much noise I was making, you know, with the cosmic codes. But now she told me she has the sensation and the perception that we have to go out in a place, in the nature, maybe on top of the mountain, and do the codes together. And we will take our laptop and awesome. the camera. And awesome. You know, and we will be. Awesome. Yeah. But I, I don't know when it will happen because we will be guided to do right. it. Because uh, she could feel that my container, my, my body, my physical body is now getting, it's too small and it's exploding. It needs to, wow, you know. That's what I felt like yesterday. That's what I felt like I. Yes. Okay, so I need to go in, in, in nature and just let it, go. because that's why we're here. I mean, that's what we're, that's why you're in the city. That's why I'm in the city. I mean, we're here to expand it for everyone, so. That's a message for all of us. Yes. We need to go outside today on this yes. lion's gate. This is yes. there's two huge portals crew. I'm going to finish with this happy happy lion's gate. <laughs> this yeah, is a I, I go I go in the evening at 9 o'clock I will try to go on a live on a live stream on YouTube. That's Together it. Together with Funda and Funda did you listen? Yes, what day? You see? Yeah, what day? I said, no, I, I decided, um, we decided, Funda and me, to go on a live, on a live stream yeah. this evening here for the Lion's Gate. Awesome. Okay, live. cool. And so that's, that's six o'clock your time. So that is like midnight here. So there, Anne Marie will have a live. Well, it'll be. It's not midnight. Wait, wait, wait. It is. Now we have a quarter to um to eight. No, a quarter to seven. Right, and it's eleven forty-two here. Yeah, and now I will do this at nine o'clock. So it is in uh, in three hours, approximately three hours. Awesome, awesome. Okay, cool. It's eleven forty-two now. So 
by the time I get, so 11.42, so let's just say 12, 1, 2, so around 3 o'clock today. Yes. And Marie yes. will be live with codes with Funda, who's also, she's AU in the comments when you see her. That's Funda. So, yay! I'm gonna yeah. sign. I'm gonna sign off right now and speak to Anne Marie personally. So you have that to look forward to. Remember, we've got Lionsgate portal open. We have the Galactic portal open from Antares to Aldebaran. Remember, take a deep breath. Center your soul and your heart. Remember, everything is already done. You are back to your original program of when you entered this dimension of density. Whatever you came here to accomplish now has already been accomplished. It is only up to us to balance and reacquaint ourselves with Gaia, the planet that has not been here. And that's it. 